Hey, what's up guys? Pan, the organizer here. So, a very special day today. We tinted the windows of my Porsche 911 Turbo S. And to do so, I have none other than a legend in the tint film world. This is Dean Mitchell, guys. How are you, Dean? Hey, I'm very good, thank you. Thanks for having us. Well, thank you for, for coming over. So you're an expert and you're an expert for Expel. So basically what I want you to do is introduce yourself, uh, then tell us what film specifically we applied on this, because I see the box there and the tech really excited me. So what the features are and basically run us over what the steps were, because this Porsche here, uh, is fitted with the optional uh, lightweight and uh, sound insulated glass and it was tinted before not dark enough but now if you guys have a look at this I'm just going to give you a quick look don't look at the dirt because we're going to have to clean the car afterwards but look at these tints now so uh, yeah Dean go ahead by the way I want to give before you start a big shout out to somebody that you know so Martin from uh, Alligator Window Tinting yes, sir. in Florida uh, thank you Martin for the hookup like he has nothing but good words to say about you Dean and, likewise uh, he told me he's a legend and he's going to do your car perfectly so yeah introduce yourself what you do for the brand and uh, why expel so Pan thanks for having us my name is Dean Mitchell I've been a window tinter for uh, professionally for 28 years and Expel hired me in 2016 to start designing the tin patterns and uh, we just moved up from there. I became a, a territory manager and I still do a lot of advanced tin training and I've always been a big part of the community, the tin community, to share the knowledge that I've gained over the years. So uh, we, what we did today was remove uh, Pan's old tint on the car because there was no heat rejection. So what we basically did, pulled the old film off and we gave him uh, the, uh, an XR Plus treatment, which is our highest IR film. IR meaning uh, infrared rejection. So it blocks a ton of heat. So we're talking 85% IR rejection just with the 70%, which is a very light film, which we applied on the windshield. So what we started off doing is removing the old film, like I said earlier, and we have to be very careful with these, with these windows because it's called Gorilla Glass which is uh, kind of like a, a high-end plexi to make the car uh, a little more soundproof and, and lightweight but they're very very fragile so we have to be very careful what we use as far as tools to remove the film so as not to scratch the glass and once we put it on we've got to be careful with what types of squeegees we use to to remove the moisture and um yeah so we we gave them a good uh, very good protection towards heat rejection uv protection and if you look at the result what we did is put 70 percent on the front um, to block a lot of heat from, from coming in through the windshield, which is probably where the most heat comes in in a vehicle is through the big piece of the windshield. And then on the sides, we did a 35% XR Plus, and in the back, we put a 20% XR Plus. So it gives it that nice smooth flow of light to dark, and it just gives it that beautiful sporty look. And um, he's got also, with this film, a lifetime transferable nationwide warranty covered by Expel. So when we talk about the tech of the film itself, like they talk about ceramic technology and it can block like an SPF 1000 equivalent for the uh, UV rays. Can you tell us a little bit more about the actual tech in the film? Like, is there real ceramic particles in there? Because I, as you know, this is a detailing channel, right? So yep. we're used to ceramic coatings. So what's different or how does it work in the tin film world? What makes this film awesome is that it's it's a dyed film made with nano ceramic particles. And nano ceramic particles are key in blocking all the IR infrared from coming in. And, and the infrared heat is what is what needs to be blocked in order to make it for uh, for make for a cool interior. And this is what this film is all about. And so, because you know, I like to do a lot of tutorials on my channel and there may be a lot of guys out there who are uh, tinting uh, film installers. How did you go about, so once you removed the old film, when you're applying the new one, just run us through basically a little bit of what these steps are uh, in, in when you're doing the actual work. So how would you actually apply the film? So basically the first step is to, uh, we have a software called the DAP, the Design Access Program from Expel. And we download the vehicle model, uh, make, year, and then we plot the, 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 the film. The patterns are plot on a plotter. So that's what I saw in the beginning yeah, with the computer, right? Again, uh, yes. And, and that's to avoid putting a blade on the windows. And again, these windows are very fragile, so it's always best to use a plotter. And the, um, the pattern's already pre-cut. All that's left to do is to apply the film on the outside to begin with, so that we can shrink the film to mold it to the shape of the glass. And then once it's sh uh, shaped, then we put it on the inside. And when you're applying it, is there anything special? Like what, what kind of tools are you using or what procedures are there? When you're applying the film, you remove, a, like I saw you guys peel it off and then you're applying kind of the tint. 
because I'm not too familiar with how tints work there. Yeah, so, so just... once, it's, once it's shrunk, right, obviously you do your, your normal prep steps like you'll see in the video, uh, where we clean the window. We, uh, I, I, use, I like using a razor blade to remove all contaminants from inside the glass. Some people like to use like a, just a, um, a scrub pad. And then we just use a, a slip, right? We have uh, soap and water. Uh, I prefer, it's a slip solution called Filmon. It's specifically made for film. And um, that allows you to be able to move the film around as you're applying it before you remove the moisture because you got to position the pattern uh, to fit the window, right? So once it's positioned, then we use uh, squeegees, rubber squeegees to push out the moisture. And then that's what makes, once the moisture is out, that's when the film tacks to the glass. And then it's uh, just final touch-ups around the edges and corners to make sure that it, the film is well tucked below the gasket, below the door panel, and then that the patterns were all lined up. And um, and once all this, the, the, the moisture is, is squeegeed out, that's it. You've got a tinted window. And what about for uh, maintenance now? Like, is there anything that I need to be careful of? Some people say, like, don't do anything to your glass for the next 48 hours. What are the steps that I need to so be aware of? The first steps is to wait 48 hours before you roll down the windows, right? Because it takes a good 48 hours for the for the film to dry, the moisture to all dry up. Once it's dried up, you can roll down the windows, no problem. The other thing is we always recommend to wait about a week before you wash the windows on the inside to make sure, again, that you give it all that time to dry. Because if there's a little um, moisture pocket that's caught somewhere uh, that's not dried and you try to push it out, it's gonna, it's gonna, you're going to have some dry marks all over. So it's very important to wait at least a week before you wash them inside. And we always recommend to use products that don't have ammonia in it because it, 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 it could affect the top coat of the film and make it change colors. Absolutely. And by the way, if I have a question to ask, because obviously you're for Expel. Um, and by the way, quick disclaimer, guys, Expel didn't pay for this video. So I just wanted to share my thoughts and opinions with you. But why would somebody pick Expel over all the other brands that are out there for window tilt film? What makes you guys special? So there's a lot of great brands of film out there. I think what uh, defines us is our network. We have over thousand dealers across the nation, Canada, in the US, all around the world. And we have a nationwide transferable warranty with this film, a lifetime transferable warranty. So, and again, the, the top coat on the film is what also separates us from our competition. Top coat meaning it's very hard to scratch the film. You know, window film is kind of plasticky. So anytime you put something, you know, uh, against the window, uh, it can scratch. Whereas our film has a very tough scratch coat. Uh, making it very durable, uh, which is why we uh, are able to separate ourselves from our competition is because we have a very good warranty. The color of the film is 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 on point uh, and it does not change colors. It does not fade. It doesn't turn purple or bubbly like some of the rear windows you see on the market out there nowadays where you're following a car and you see a million bubbles in the back window. Well, ours doesn't do that. And it's got a, a, again, it's got a transferable nationwide warranty. So even if it happens, should it ever happen, which it won't, you can go, if you move out of state, move out of, 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 of province, you find an Expel dealer on our website, expel.com, and boom, you can, you can get it fixed. And by the way, guys, I'll have the links for you guys to be able to find a uh, installer near you for Expel window tin film. You guys also do PPF and ceramic coatings too, right? Yes, we specialize in paint protection film and also ceramic coatings. And guys, if you want me to try uh, the Expel ceramic coating, let me know. Drop a comment in the comment section. So Dean, uh, is Expel only available in uh, Canada and USA? Like where, where do you guys offer your services? Globally, we're all over the world. And it's very easy to find us. You can go to expel.com and or find our installer locator, type in the country, your city, and you'll find an installer near you. So regardless of where they are around the world, regardless. they have a high chance of finding somebody. And talking about finding somebody, if somebody that's watching this video is, well, a tin film installer or they want to become one and they want to become a, a Expel authorized installer, what? how does it work? How do they do? Again, you can go on our website, expel.com, and there's a become a dealer section. Fill that out. That's then forwarded to the local rep. And then the local rep reaches out to the installer and they see if we can make a match. Awesome. And you have somebody with you today if because he was working with you. If yes. you want to maybe just give a quick shout out what his name is and what he does for the brand. Yes. Johan Gomo is, is one of our tint designers and he's also a very uh, highly experienced window tinner. He's been tinting for over 25 years. So I've got over almost over 50 years of experience tinting this car today. So thank you for your presence. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Well, Dean, I have to say this is absolutely insane. Finally, I have the look I was waiting for. I know a lot of my viewers out there were asking me, Pan, are your windows tinted? Yes, they were, but uh, probably not to a darkness level that we really appreciate. So now I think it's quite obvious. Look at that. And by the way, Dean, while I have you here, we always hear uh, percentages, right? 70%, 35% tint, 
what do, what do those numbers mean? How does it work? So it's basically, the, the number is the amount, the percentage of light uh, going through the window. So if you have 35% tint, it means there's only 35% light going through the window, which means it's tinted at 65%, basically. 20% in the back, same thing. It's, it's there's only 20% light shining through the glass, it's tinted at 80%. So the number that we hear is always the light coming through. Yes, the, the smaller percentage. the number, the darker the film. The smaller the number, the darker the film. There we go. So guys, if you uh, like how the car looks now, smash that thumbs up button. Uh, drop any comment for a, a future video, or if you guys have an expelled tint on your vehicle, let others know your experience. I'm sure it's super positive. And again, thanks to Martin from Alligator Window Tint for hooking me up with uh, the idea to reach out to Dean. He's in South Central Florida, if I remember. So if you guys are in that area, I'll leave a link to all of that in the description and to the Expel stuff as well. So Dean, thanks a lot for being there. And it was uh, you a pleasure. guys, thanks, thanks for, for having being us. There. Absolutely. <laughs> I, I love craftsmanship and I saw as soon as I saw these guys work, they know what they're doing. So guys, thanks for being there. Thanks for watching. And in the meantime, don't forget, keep it tight, keep it clean, and I'll see you on the next one.